the Baiju TV peeps. We are back with another recipe for you to try. This is our strawberry shortcake protein pancakes. Looks more complex, honestly, than it is. Uh, minimal ingredients, I think they taste amazing. Very macro friendly, almost for any of you, depending on how you eat out there. So we'll get right down to it. The first thing, you guys need a half a cup to a cup of chopped strawberries. My personal opinion, the more strawberries, the better, because I personally love them. After the strawberries, you guys are gonna go with a third of a cup of the Bob's gluten-free either baking flour uh, or the pancake mix. Either option is fine, depending on what you guys have access to. If you're talking gluten-free, good old Bob is, uh, is tough to beat for sure. Next thing on the list, we're going with a hefty scoop of the J-Lab vanilla protein powder. It's the only protein I take. They sweeten it with stevia. It's easy on the stomach. That's why I love it. And I think they still have 20% off until at least midnight Wednesday, maybe even into Thursday. So hit me up. I'll shoot you guys a link for this. I'll also post it in my story uh, as well for you to check out. Next, we're going to go with a fourth of a cup of the old-fashioned oats, rolled oats, any kind of oats you guys like. I think you're going to be fine, but a fourth of a cup is ideal. Then from there, uh, we'll do about two-thirds of a tablespoon of baking powder, which I have right over here. Then we're going with a half a tablespoon of vanilla extract, just a couple of drops up on that bad boy. A third a cup of the almond milk, or if you guys like coconut milk, I think like the unsweetened vanilla is probably the best route to go. After that, we're gonna go with two packets of stevia, or if you guys wanna go with like the, uh, the stevia syrup, which we actually drizzled on here as well, either option is fine just to make it a little bit sweeter, which for me, honestly, the sweeter, the better. Once that is done, uh, a tablespoon of organic uh, coconut oil, or if you guys wanna go olive oil, or if you're just lazy and you wanna do the spray, depending on what your macros kind of fit into the day, I think both options are great. I do like a little bit of a coconut uh, flavoring even myself. And again, sometimes we sprinkle on like the optional coconut flakes onto everything, as well as this is, you can use the spray uh, topping, like the easy coconut whip for the spray, but we actually use this version, which I do think is healthier. Uh, we've been having it stuck in our freezer. As you can see, it's melting right now because it's taking me a long time to talk through this, but I do think it tastes great. It's light, uh, easy, and again, just adds to the sweetness of it. So above all that, you basically combine everything uh, into the bowl, other than obviously uh, the things we topped and mentioned, and you guys literally just mix that bad boy up and obviously work on your pancake making skills uh, as you go along the way and hopefully they look as sexy as these. And again, obviously, um, I top almost everything at my house with sprinkles, but sprinkles are only for winners. So if you're a loser, uh, you gotta skip the sprinkles. But uh, that in a nutshell is basically everything you need. Obviously, once you get the pancakes done, you can make them look as sexy as this with the drizzle of obviously the syrup, uh, the chopped up strawberries, uh, the coconut flakes, and then obviously the sprinkles here. So I'm gonna cut through, I got three of these here actually. Give these bad boys a try. These actually are really good. Like, honestly, of all the things we make, like these are the ones that convince me that I'm actually eating like real pancakes. As close as you guys can get to, I would say the real thing. And you can hear my dog actually running in to get a couple bites as well. So if you guys have any questions on this recipe, um, or the protein powder, the discount, um, hit me up. I will post the entire recipe here in the link below and uh, enjoy.